Good morning guys, I hope you're all really really well. I am just in my room. The house is a tip, I know I always say this but it really really is today because Ben and I are packing, we're going for a one night stay but that still means that we have a bomb site of a house. Um, we are off to Soho Farmhouse today with BMW and we are going to go stay there for the night and we're doing an outdoor car cinema which should be amazing fun, I've never done this before. Um, or like a drive-in cinema, what is it that they call it in the States, I can't remember. Um, but it should be really, really fun, we're going to drive down in the i3, Ben's going to pick it up at 12. Time now is 11.30, so I need to get a move on, I've not eaten anything today, I'm starving. This little one is fast asleep next to me. Um, we're going to be taking her with us. Um, but I wanted to do a quick little mini haul of things I've been given and things I've been sent recently because I haven't really done anything on stories for a while um, so I thought I would update you all here and hopefully you like to see these. Let me know if you do. Um, it's difficult to share everything I get sent um, because there is a lot of it but I feel really really bad if I don't share it somewhere because obviously the brands take so much time and effort to make everything look beautiful um, and send it out to us so yeah I just wanted to do a little round up first of all I want to show you this ring that I actually made myself I don't know if you can see it but um One Roof Social which is owned by our friend Anna um invited me to do a ring making workshop with um the workbench and Chandon Champagne um, so we all went down there and it was just a really, really lovely afternoon catching up with bloggers, um, having chats and making our own rings. So we actually got, um, a, it was a little piece of wax, um, and we basically had to mould it into the shape that we wanted the ring and it was just a plain band. It was very difficult to get the, like, zigzag kind of lightning bolt through it, um, but I managed it and I'm so happy with it. Um, so yeah, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you, but... I'm gonna put you here. Honestly, there is so much stuff around me. Okay, I have this big bag of stuff down here that I wanted to show you, starting with this that I received today. And it is a really, really cute little almost basket bag um, with cherries on the front. I just thought this was really, really cute. And this was sent to me by Carmeg. And this was actually at the uh, post office and I hadn't collected it in ages because obviously we'd be down to Devon and everything. So this is, Oh, Carmex and Skinny Dip. So this is a Skinny Dip bag, um, and this is the limited edition pot prints. Um, I don't know when this actually came out, but I feel like it was a long time ago. Then here we've got Moisture Plus Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm, and that's in peach, and I love peach. I'm actually gonna put some of this on now and see what I think. Oh my God, that goes on so nicely. And it's got that obvious Carmex like taste you know when everyone used to wear it to school and it's just so so lovely um and this is so cute as well the little Carmex skinny dip collab and it's got cherries on it so cute and I love this bag Ben and I are actually um potentially heading to Portugal next month for a few days um it'll be our last kind of summer trip so this will be perfect for that something else i've received today is the misguided babe power fragrance this is the first misguided fragrance um and they wrote to me and said do you want to try it and i said yes because i'm actually curious as to how this smells um and it's got babe power commandments always be hot but humble always fill filter out the haters always live life with highlighter always ignore the bank balance always st slay the selfie, always wear the attitude, always find the bar wherever you are, always support your local girl gang, always make every outfit count and always be a boss babe and hashtag babes of misguided. Obviously the packaging for this is lovely like the blush pink and the rose gold are typical misguided colours. I know this is a can because I've seen it everywhere. I'm not sure how I feel about the can, I think it's quite it's quite young, it's not really something that I would have on my top shelf. Oh, it's more rose gold than I thought it was. I thought it was very, very pinky. Oh, comes out really easily. So it is, it's very cute though. Let's smell it. Okay, I don't know what the, okay, so. This has, okay, vanilla and candy floss melt into this oriental fragrance of sensual musk, amber crystal, citrus fusion, and moss. Warm heliotrope and orris fusion lead to a sparkling floral heart of orange blossom, peony, and jasmine. 
The top is an effervescent blend of grapefruit zest, sour cherry, pink pepper, crisp apple, pineapple and rhubarb. Can you get any more into a fragrance? A hint of absinthe finishes this delicious fragrance. I probably wouldn't drink it though. I quite like the smell. It kind of grows on me as it, as you kind of wear it. But yeah, I don't mind that at all. Next, I had a delivery from Wonderbra, and this is all their new collection. Some of these are absolutely gorgeous. So this little bra with this gorgeous kind of racerback detail. I thought that was so so pretty. That one's lovely and like a really really sheer kind of colour. Um, and they sent me this one as well that's just kind of like a little, oh, there it is, beautiful, 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 I love the lace on that one as well, that's a really, really simple, good, like, t-shirt bra, I thought that was lovely, um, and this one, again, gorgeous, gorgeous lace, and obviously it's Wonder Bra, so you know they're going to fit really, really nicely, um, beautiful again so pretty beautiful details and obviously the support that you need then i received this from a pr meeting that ben went to i couldn't go because i had to look after the puppy um so this is soleil um natural shower gel so the woman behind soleil organics um is an icelandic actress called soleil elias dottir I probably pronounced that really, really wrong. Um, but she's basically been a long-standing figure in, in Iceland. Um, quite a famous actress over there. She's now left the stage um, and followed in her family's footsteps. Apparently they've had this business <clears throat> for a long, long time. And basically it goes back generations. Um, but their family use herbs um, on the skin, essentially. So all of these um, are made from herbs found in Iceland, so really, really cool. Um, beautiful, organic, natural products. I am trying to use more and more pure kind of organic products on my skin, but also because I kind of want to help the environment and I just feel, especially living in London, like it's so, um, I feel like the whole city is just clogged up all the time with just um, dirt and grime and everything. So yeah, if I can do my bit to help out, then I will. Um, so I've got the body wash there, I've got the hand cream, so I'll let you know, I think that's like their signature product, so I'll let you know how I get on with that one. And this is a healing cream with Icelandic herbs as well. I think this is, that's the hand cream and this is a healing cream. Um, and it comes in this really, really cute little bag as well, so I just thought that was so, so lovely. Um, so thank you guys for that one. And then this was a bit of a surprise gift, so this is from... Uh, the Tweezerman team um, and they just gave me a selection of the Tweezerman goodies they sent me the brow mousse clear brow gel and I will try that because I really really like brow gel um, my brows are a bit unruly at the moment I need to go get them threaded but I just haven't had time um, so that's a good one then there's the little Tweezerman brow rescue kit and there is an eyebrow pencil in there a little spoolie um, some gel and some tweezers as well and then some nail files. I didn't know Tweezerman did nail files. So that's always useful. And then the Tweezerman Expert Tweez LED Lighted Slant Tweezers. Um, so these have a little light on them. And they're kind of slanted. So you can really, really get in and get those really fine hairs. And I need that because my eyebrows are so blonde um, that you can't see anything. So, yeah. Next up is a package from Pugue. Um, and this is Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. We all know Jean-Paul Gaultier as the, like, the corset design perfume. But they've done something different. And this is beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's so much fun. It's called Scandal. And it basically has a pair of women's legs in silver disappearing into the top of the fragrance bottle. And I just think this is so fun. They just pull straight off and then you're just left with a very, very simple bottle. So let's spray that. And this is like really, really weighty as well. It's amazing quality. Oh my God, that smells so good. Okay, I'm actually going to put that in my bag to take with me to Soho Farmhouse because that's so lovely. Finally, I had a meeting with one of my favourite PRs, Delilah from Beauty Scene, um, and she has given me a big bag of goodies and she does this every time and it's so, so lovely. I have tan luxe, um, the body and the face, and these are illuminating self-tan drops. 
Um, so these are really, really great and you can just add them to your normal moisturiser and it just gives that little, little glow. I've not tried them, but I'm looking forward to, so I'll let you know how I get on with them as well. We have Avon Skin So Soft Original Dry Oil Spray. I'm not so keen on dry oils, but let's give it a go and see how we do. This is VO5 Extra Body Mousse. I love volume in my hair. It's looking a bit flat at the moment, um, but that should be a great one as well. This is Mark, um, which I've not heard of before. Um, and this is a Gel Shine Nail Polish. Oh, and this is in Periwinkle, so it's like a kind of cool blue. It's not a colour that I often wear, but I actually really, really like that shade. That's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Um, and I have a few more nail colours, I think. Yeah, so we've also got Heading Cloud. I like that colour. That's like a cool grey as well. And this one is called Wine and Dime Me, and that is your typical autumnal gorgeous gorgeous shade so i'm looking forward to wearing that one as well i've also got the revlon ultra hd matte lip color that's a beautiful color it's like a blush pinky nude it's absolutely beautiful we've also got the tony and guy sleek definition cream shine and anti frizz my hair does get frizzy um although it looks quite shiny and quite glossy most of the time it does get a bit unruly and this is heat protect spray i always use heat protect spray on my hair um Really, really important, really, really need it. And that's the VO5 EP edition for extra hair play. And then she's given me the whole new Illamasqua um, collection. So these lipsticks look amazing. We have Emanate, Tectonic and Rebirth. And these are all the Lava Lips um, collection. So let me get one of them out. This is Emanate. Okay, so look at that like brownie kind of colour. And you can see it's like marbled throughout. It's so beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. I might do a little review of that one because I never really review lipsticks, but I wear lipsticks all at the time and I absolutely love them. And a Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow. That looks so, so beautiful. I may try that one on today. Um, and Topshop Lipstick. Topshop do really good lipsticks. I love lipsticks from um, High Street because H&M do really, really good ones as well. Um, this is Topshop in Crowd and this is like a chocolatey nude as well. So perfect for autumn. Really, really fun colour. I now feel like this video is going to be super long because that haul was super, super long or that unboxing was super long anyway. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I just put on the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in 710. Um, absolutely love it. And this is a 24 hour stay, um, eyeshadow it's beautiful i have it on my eyelids now and it's super creamy i've also put on this revlon um this is the ultra hd matte lip color um and this is in 645 um beautiful beautiful shade i have it on my lips now i feel like it's a really really warm shade and it's matte but it smells so good, I just want to eat it. So Ben will be on his way back soon. I'm probably gonna nip out now and go grab something to eat and maybe a drink. Um, I need to feed the puppy in a second as well, um, grab all the bits and bobs, and then we are ready to go. Okay, anyone that has a puppy knows how difficult it is getting them to walk properly on the lead. Although she's doing quite well now. I've just carried her to Starbucks and back again. Come on, Cap. <laughs> she just refuses to move. It's fine. Come on, puppy. Come on. Puppy, what have you got? <laughs> puppy, what have you got? Peps. You'll all be pleased to know that I managed to find her a harness. Finding a harness for this size dog, though, is impossible because she is so tiny. We even looked at the cat harnesses, but the cat harnesses were too big for her. So we managed to find like an extra, extra small puppy harness um, and that's on her now. But yeah, literally the only thing we could. We've just arrived at Soho Farmhouse. Peppy doesn't know quite what to make of it, um, but it is absolutely gorgeous here. So I thought I would give you a quick room tour um, because we've just seen one of our friends who actually I was talking about earlier, Anna from One Roof Social. Um, she's here, so we're gonna give her a call and maybe go and see her in a sec. Um, but yeah, onto the room tour, because this place is gorgeous. We're staying in a cabin, um, and we also have an outdoor um, bath. Look at this bathtub. 
amazing. So we have some rocking chairs here, a lovely little smoking area, not that we smoke so we won't use it. Hello Peppy! She's just having a little explore, not quite sure what to make of it all. And then if we go in, this is the bedroom. We've got a log fire here which is beautiful. Ben is eating. What have you got? Ben's had some of the bread already. <laughs> <laughs> um, so gorgeous little dressing area over here this is one of the accessible cabins so we actually have through here a huge washroom where we might put Peppy tonight but I reckon she can just sleep in the room with us and it should be fine Peppy out good girl come on there you go um, so this is the log burner beautiful and then if we come over here we've got the bathroom so little toilet in there and then shower in here lovely little sink um and then are you two playing are you playing baby are you playing are you playing <laughs> <laughs> she's so happy and so excited um and then through here we've got a little kitchen um there's some fresh bread here some granola and things for us to use and there's tea and coffee i might have a tea in a second and there's treats for peppy which is super cute um fully stocked mini bar obviously that's extra um we may or may not have something from there there's like ice snacks linen cutlery dustbin they've literally thought of everything here so obviously you're not really supposed to film or take photos at soho soho house or soho farmhouse um so i'm gonna keep it a little bit quiet but i am going to show you um where we are watching the film tonight because it's just outside our room and it's beautiful um but i'm gonna flip the camera so it doesn't look so obvious by the way look at all of this how cute is that So over here is the film room where we are going to be later. So that's all the BMWs lined up for that and the TV screen. And these are our little bikes and wellies. So we're going to see Logan Lucky. Is it Logan Lucky Ben? Benjamin? Is the film called Logan Lucky? Yeah, film. Yeah. Yeah, so it is. It's called Logan Lucky. So we're going to see that in a bit. These two are playing outside and having fun. Um, and yeah, so I will check back in with you in a bit. Where are you going, Pep? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going, Peppy? Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, uh -uh, no. Good girl. No. I've done a bit of a change and I'm wearing like proper, oh, okay, <laughs> I was about to film in there and then Ben opened the door to go to the loo, lovely. Um, so I've done a bit of a change, I'm wearing this really, really cosy Zara white jumper, a pair of grey little tracksuit leggings um, and my pumas. Um, so I'm nice and cosy and ready for the film. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. We may have to have the windscreen wipers on during the film. Really? Um, Peppy's gonna come in with us. I'm gonna take a little blanket for her as well. You can wear the dressing gown if you want. <laughs> We've just checked into the film, but it doesn't start until 8.30. Oh, she just jumped up the stairs. She's been trying to get up these stairs all day and she hasn't managed it and she's just done it. Um, Ben's had to run back to the car because we put the keys and everything in the plastic bag in the car. Um, but we're all set up. We got a really, really good spot with perfect view of the screen. Um, everyone's kind of making their way over. Film doesn't start until 8.30 and it's about 7.30 now. So we're going to go for a little... Um, a little walk around the grounds um, and give Peppy a little walk because she's been in the car most of today and hasn't really been out so we're going to do that um, yeah and then order some cocktails and some food to the car okay the quality now, is so well, bad guys and you can probably shut the line we're in a cinema a jam session um, film has just started on the way, Peppy is up there John Denver, okay, he Peppy. broke his thumb. 
<laughs> She's sitting there. I got back to the house. And we're watching and the Bill film. We've just ordered our food. I've got a cocktail down, down here as well. Time. So we're all set. Um, but we're going to watch a film now. So I will check in in a bit. I got no say in the matter. You'll still get your days. Just we'll be in Lynchburg. You can drive across state line to pick her up. I have full custody. I'm still tired when I wake up. Like my dreams still near. Snooze part of my best friend now. Get me away from here. I got plans, I got things to do. Gotta do my hours, do my hours. Why is everything so damn hard? Gray skies and rain clouds. I postpone everything. Worrying about. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday. We have had the most chilled morning. What? Interjection. What? I've had my coffee has gone cold every time I made one. I'm shooting your stuff in. every single time I've had cold coffee. <laughs> Christ, yeah. We've been shooting pretty much all morning, but having like a really, really chilled. Yeah, it might crack though. Like a really, really chilled morning. I made a fire. Oh my god, did you touch it? Are you okay? Oh my god, he just burnt his hand because he just put it on top of the thing. Oh, Bob. Are you okay? Um, Peppy is fast asleep down here. Oh no, she's not. She's just kind of snoozing. Um, I haven't had any breakfast yet. I really, really need some breakfast. Um, I've just posted an Instagram of our really, really chilled morning. I've had a shower, smothered myself in the cow shed stuff. Are you okay? You've not lost skin, have you? Um, smother myself in cow shed products. Um, we haven't had a bath out here yet, but I've been sitting in the little rocking chair. I've just put um, a little blanket down on there. Um, and I'm in my new Primark pyjamas. Ben has some as well, and they are so good. I love Primark pyjamas. Um, I need to take a few more photos. I think I'm going to order breakfast for the room because we have to check out at 12. So we might as well make the most of being in here such a good night's sleep um i feel like it was quite warm in the room um and also we'd had a couple of cocktails so i think we didn't sleep as well as we could have um but such a lovely room anyway i've seen rabbits this morning i woke up i wish i took the camera out but i didn't um because we woke up and there was mist covering the valley um and the most stunning sunrise i've ever seen um when i took peppy for a walk this morning it was absolutely gorgeous um but yeah, I think I'm going to grab some breakfast now and take a few more photos of things um, and then we kind of need to pack up, really. Just had my breakfast delivered. Look at this. Yum. Happy? Mmm. -hmm. Would you get coffee? Hot chocolate. Um. It's okay. It's okay. See? <laughs> they smell good. They smell good, Peppy. Peppy, are you scared? Are you scared of it? What is it? <laughs> this is bigger than her. <laughs> Where is it, Peppy? Get it, go on. Go on, Peppy. <laughs> Start living Cause I remember growing up We rode our bikes all over town Spending all our cash on candy bars And no one ever told us that tomorrow It might not be gone Sunny days replaced with weekend jobs Where are you going? What's she doing? What's she doing? And call her again. Have you got your whistle? Uh, sit, sit, Peppy, sit. No. <laughs> Peppy, sit, stay. Ben 
and I had a lovely, lovely lunch. Um, we just got something from the deli and ate it in the main square. Um, and Peppy had a good long sleep. And we've just taken a few photos. We're back by the milk floats from last night. You can see all the cars parked up behind me. The screen has now gone. Um, but yeah, I think we are going to head off fairly soon and go to Bista and do a little bit of shopping while we have the i3 with us. Um, and then head home I think. Peppy is just playing with her lead. I can see her over there. Um, yeah, it's been so lovely. We're actually back here in about a month's time um, with a different brand, which I can't wait for. I absolutely love it here. It's so lovely. The people are all so friendly. Like a super, super young um, staff here, which is quite nice. Um, so everyone seems really, really relatable. Um, but yeah, we're going to head off now. Um, I can't do loads of filming here because obviously it's quite private and you're not really supposed to film any of the guests or anything so it's very difficult that's why I'm standing behind this milk float <laughs> so I'm not getting anyone in the back of my shots or anything um but yeah I'll check back in in a bit Sun shining, it's a new day. back in the car and we are on our way to Vista yeah. gotta play it cool keep my head up above the Guys, I've been an awful vlogger and I didn't film anything in Vista. Um, I had this little one in my arms the whole time, which made it very, very difficult to use a camera. Um, but it was actually quite empty today, which was really nice. But I didn't get it, didn't have any luck even. Um, didn't find anything that I really, really liked. I think it's a bit hit and miss. I could have bought everything in DNG, but then I'd have been very, very poor. Um, ben bought his first pair of Jimmy Choo's. How do you feel about that? Say more. Um, they're really, really cool. They're like a camo print slipper. Um, and we didn't realize until just after they actually have like the camo is all naked girls wearing heels. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I, I think they're quite cool. So it's fine, you can get away with that. And then in All Saints, you did really well in All Saints as well, didn't you? What'd you get in All Saints? For 100 quid, I got a, an exquisite leather jacket and a uh, nice knitted jumper for winter. So good. But the girls' stuff again was really, really expensive. Like the jacket that I liked was still, boy, it would have been how much? Like 150 pounds. I still think that's a lot for a jacket though. Like I know, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I'd pay that for a full price jacket, just maybe okay. not for, I don't know. Anyway, we are heading to Ben's parents' house now. Um, we're gonna pop in for a cup of tea, because we might as well on the way home. Um, on our way home, probably gonna get back quite late. Um, but yeah, so I will sign off this vlog here. I hope it's been interesting. I don't know if I've really been able to show you much, because we've been in Soho House, so it's all been quite closed. Um, but my next vlog, um, we are going to be at Choosing Glen, and you can film there, so that's fine. Um, so I'll do a lot more from there, I promise. But I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, please give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.